Hey guys, it's Drum from Illustrator How. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Shape Builder tool in Adobe Illustrator. You can use a Shape Builder tool to create new shapes, create icons, even logos. It's super, super useful. So if that sounds interesting to you, please keep watching this video. Okay, so let's get into practice. I'm going to show you how to create a speech bubble using the Shape Builder tool. And all you need to do is actually create the shape of the speech bubble. It can either be ellipse or cloud or maybe a rounded rectangle or a rectangle. Anyways, I'm going to show you the easiest ones using the ellipse tool. So I'm going to go ahead and choose ellipse tool from the toolbar. Or you can use a keyboard shortcut L to activate it. I'm just going to click and drag and create the ellipse like this. Then I'm going to select the pen tool or you can use a keyboard shortcut P. And simply go ahead and create kind of a triangle shape and remember the triangle should be overlapping with the ellipse and when you use a shape builder tool make sure that you have two overlapping shape otherwise it wouldn't work so once you have these two shape created go ahead and select both and then you can see kind of an overlapping area here maybe it's not so obvious since my shape is filled i'm going to just switch to the stroke so we can see it clearly all right, so you can see here there's an overlapping shape and you can get rid of that using the shape builder tool. So go ahead and choose the shape builder tool from the toolbar. This is what it looks like. And you can also use the keyboard shortcut shift and M to activate a tool. So I'm going to just select it and I'm going to just click through the area that I want to combine and you can do the same. Simply click through the area that you want to combine and release the mouse. There you go, you got a speech bubble like this. If you want to edit it a little bit, you can go ahead and choose the direct selection tool and make it a little bit cute, something like that. All right, so if you want to create, let's say a rounded rectangle, maybe speech bubble, you can do exactly the same. Well, adjust how you want the speech bubble to be. Go ahead and choose a pen tool. Again, remember the shape should be overlapping, so make sure that you create a shape or move the shape together and go ahead and select both and use the same way shape builder tool click and drag there's another thing i want to mention as you can see if you hold your option or alt key you will see that the arrow has a minor sign next to it um, you can use it to delete part of the shape that you don't want let's say i want to delete this part so I'm just going to hold the option key. I mean, I'm using a Mac. So if you're using window, you hold the alt key and then click on it. And it's going to delete this part from the shape. I mean, it's not going to show obviously when it's not color, I'm just going to add a color or switch the fill and stroke. And you can see that this part is deleted. If that's not what you want, go ahead and just um, create the shape like this. And yeah, here I would like to make it a little bit rounded. So then it kind of match with the style. All right. Okay, I know this is an easy example. I'm going to show you another example here. Create a circle and I'm going to create something like this. Select both. I'm going to use the shape builder tool to delete these two parts on the side. Then I'm going to duplicate this. Well, if you hold the option key and click and drag, you will be able to duplicate the shape. I'm going to make it like this. Oh, I'm going to make another copy and then move it on another side. I'm going to select everything and you can delete part of the unwanted part using the shape builder tool. For example, this part, I want to have just one whole petal. So I'm just going to click through everything here. I mean, it will combine the little shapes in the middle and you will see that these are now separate shapes so then you can fill it with different colors mm, i'm going to fill it with blue purple get rid of the stroke yeah i should have deleted this part earlier but yeah anyways this is how it works all right, so this is just a very, very easy example and there's a lot you can do with the Shape Builder tool. Can't wait to see what you create. Okay, so hopefully by the end of the video, you already know how to use the Shape Builder tool in Adobe Illustrator. And as always, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to give me a thumb up and hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my future tutorials. Besides the quick and easy tutorials, I'll also talk about Illustrator hacks, trending topics in graphic design, and some of the productivity tips in this channel. 